<laughs> Today I'm going to be reviewing the Gilbert the Alien uh, figure from Nema Studios. For those of you who don't know who Gilbert is, Gilbert was in the TV show Get Fresh, which was like a Saturday morning kids show with uh, Gareth Jones, otherwise known as Gaz Top at the time, and Charlotte Hindle. Uh, I used to watch this a lot. They were on a spaceship called the Millennium Dustbin. The first series, Gilbert the Alien was not in, but the second two series, he was. He went on to be in Gilbert's Fridge and Gilbert's Late TV show. Gilbert was quite a transgressive character. He was full of snot and fluids and silly jokes. He was actually a little bit scary as a kid, but you found him funny as well. And the kids who were often on TV with him were kind of a little bit taken aback with him. He, he seemed to get stickier and stickier as time went on. He was done by the amazing voice actor and actor um, Phil Cornwell, who um, has been in things such as Alan Partridge, but um, the amazing Stella Street, where he was Mick Jagger. But Gilbert was a really cool character, as you can see on the screen here. Um, I have got a figure here that looks just like him and I'll keep moving it, the camera up and down so you can see how he compares to the real thing. Um, and on the back of the pack, there's some really interesting 90s and 80s nostalgia um, that are also in the same series as Gilbert. I was very tempted to get all of them, maybe I will. Things like Pat Sharp from Funhouse TV show, uh, the Space Raiders characters from the Crisps, Pickled Onion are the best, don't care what anybody says. Um, yeah, so many uh, grot bags from Rod Hull and Emu's TV show. Uh, there's just loads of different things that they have put into this wave of characters, but I couldn't resist Gilbert. Uh, I just remember the Millennium Dustbin and thinking, I hope that lands near me, but not knowing that it was just going to land in the different regions of the ITV, um, of, of ITV car parks, maybe. Their studios and things like that. They play cartoons and different things like that. The theme music was actually uh, Mick Jones from The Clash and Big Audio Dynamite. It started off in Bonus in Windermere, the first series, um, outside uh, Border TV, which isn't far from where I live now, and in the first episode. And then the last episode, which was way, way down in uh, Port Talbot in Wales, and that was later that i think the last series was in 1988 i think the first series was in 1986 but it felt like it went on longer than that i guess that gilbert was around longer because he was in gilbert's fridge in 1988 and gilbert's late i like the look of this i like the colors i like the detail the snot uh it's excellent um it also we can say that gilbert and friends were responsible for uh, Really rich kids in your school getting the Centurions figures, if you remember the Centurions. Um, I sadly never had any Centurions figures, but I do have a Gilbert figure. So thanks, Nema Studios. Really appreciate sending this through. The box is really sturdy and really cool. It's got some great things on the back, like I said. So yeah, um, the link to Nema Studios is on the description. And I hope you really enjoyed this review, guys. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>